find a comfortable place to sit or lie down. And you want to take a deep breath in. Let it out slowly. Take a deep breath in. As you release it, let all of your tension release. Another deep breath in. Exhale any worries, any anxieties. Just let your body and your mind relax. Let your feet relax. The muscles in your legs relax. The muscles in your hips relax. Take a deep breath into your torso. Let your body relax. Let your stomach relax. Breathe into your arms, your hands. Relax all of the muscles in your arms. Relax the muscles in your shoulders. Relax the muscles in your neck. Take a deep breath in and relax the muscles in your face. Let your forehead relax. Let your mouth relax. And now I want you to picture yourself at 80 years old. You may be sitting on a rocker on your porch. And I want you to think back on the most important things in your life. The memories you cherish. The people you love. the parts of your life you're most proud of. The things you've done that you remember with joy. What are the things that have made you happiest? What are the things that you will remember would love to relive. What is the legacy you will leave? What are you most proud of? Think about all of those. Name a few of them in your mind. What is the best spent time in your life? Now I want you to shift gears. Imagine that you've won the lottery. You're the same age as you are now, but it's a strange lottery. You have unlimited money, unlimited resources, but only for one year. The things that you buy, you can use for the year, but there's no way to extend the money past a year. You don't need to work for this year. You'll have your job back at the end of the year if you'd like it. But you have a whole year with unlimited money, unlimited resources to do whatever you want. How would you spend that time? If you knew waking up tomorrow you could do whatever you wanted, 
you could take whoever you wanted with you? What would you do tomorrow? How would you start your day? How would you spend your day? How would you end your day? Where would you spend the week? Who would you spend your time with? What are the things you would most like to do with your life right now? What would bring you joy? What would make this year unforgettable? What are the things that are important to you right now? Now I want you to start to return to the room where you're sitting or laying. Feel the chair or couch or floor where your body is. Hear any sounds in the background. Take a deep breath in. Feel a sense of peace. Now I want you to clench your fist with your thumb sticking up. It's like you're giving someone a thumbs up. And I want you to use this gesture to return to this feeling of peace. This feeling of knowing what you want in your life. This feeling of understanding yourself and your goals and your desires. Of knowing your purpose of knowing what you would like to leave behind. Any time after this exercise you want to return and remind yourself of this feeling and of this knowledge, you can clench your fist in this way to remind yourself. Now wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, Start to roll your shoulders and bring yourself back to the room. You can open your eyes if you've had them closed. And now you want to get a piece of paper and think about each of the different scenarios. The things that were important to you when you were 80 and had lived much of your life and the things that were important to you right now if you had unlimited time and resources how are those different? are they different than you expected? how can you start to work towards these goals in your daily life? How can you add more of these things that you would like into your life? You may not be able to do it in as grand of a scale as if you had unlimited time and resources, but realize that these goals are important to you and are worth working towards in whatever capacity you can reach them. Choose one of these goals to work on and think about what you could do to get closer to that goal. Think of an easy step you can do this month to bring yourself closer to that goal. Think of a medium step and a hard step. Just reaching the easy step 
is plenty.